Hey kids, John here. I want to talk about music stands, and I've got a whole ton of them. Let's just start with the classic small, you know, wire type stand that's made by K&M. It's a great stand. It uh, folds out. You have to know how to kind of fold it out, otherwise you'll bend it up. Good stand. It's a, a great traveler. A lot of people use them, but it's got a couple shortcomings, and I'll show that to you in just a second here. Okay. I'm standing up, I'm playing my gig. Everything's cool if I'm using a small book. Not a problem. My Arvin book. Not a problem. Now, I'm gonna get it. Okay, whatever. Not a problem. That's kind of a problem. It might be okay, but if you've gotta have a big heavy book on it, you're going to need something a little bit sturdier than just this small thing. And then what if you have to put a stand light on it? You've got to clip it back in here. And if you've got the standard stand light with the, the uh, cord on it, that's an awful lot of weight. And I hope you're not playing outside. So these are great stands. They're very, they're very good. But if you, if you don't know exactly what kind of gig you're going into, you might not want to get one of these because they are lightweight and they may not hold what you need them to hold. But, again, great travelers, they fold up really well. Now, there is a heavier version of this stand out there. This is my personal version of it. And uh, this, I was told, was some kind of military version that they made. I added a tip up there, because why? Because I knew that on my gigs, I'd be playing in the dark. So, I added a tip, but it's, this is a slightly heavier duty version of that k &M stand. And it goes up as high as you need it to go. And the cool thing is, I added this, I just drilled a hole and bolted that on, so that puts that up higher. Looks a little silly, but, here's my, here's my binder, and guess what? Wind clips, I'm okay, that folds out, I'm good to go. Now, I know you're saying, gosh, you know, I'm gonna use an LED. Well, if you're gonna use an LED, you don't have to get the standard stand light. You might try one of these. This is, um, this is called a uh, clip light, K, K it's WW. You can, maybe their website's still good, www.k.com. L I P L I T E, clip light with a K dot com, clip light. And this thing, it's cool. It's an LED, it has four LEDs, great light, great throw. I love it. It goes on just like any other light. Boom! I've got my I got my light. I don't need a plug, I just need batteries. Great option. There's a few others that I'm gonna show you up that are that are interesting lights, but I love that clip light because it's gonna cover it all. Again, packs up really small. Now, another really cool folding stand is this thing, okay? All right, you ready for this? And this is a Desca, D-E-S-C-A, D-E-S-C-A, and it's uh, www.descahome.com, Desca. All right, ready for this? Okay, there's your stand, and then we go up and out, up and out, fold this out. Here's the only real tricky part about this, is it hooks into the top here, and then you have to spin this to lock this in place. So once you get it, it's not too hard. Oh, okay, let me give myself a little bit of, there we go. There we go. That's there we go. There it is. Okay, now it's in place. Okay, now what's cool is I've got a nice shelf that I can put stuff in, and it's got a great music shelf. It goes up plenty high. All right, I'm six foot and a little bit. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the small stuff because the big stuff will it go on it? Oh yeah, no problem. My big stuff goes right there. Boom. No problem. This is a lot of weight. This is a huge book. Okay? A lot of weight. 
And you'll find books like this out there. You, you do different books. I mean, this is, that's heavy. And then any light will clip on there. Once again, I can do my clip light. I love it. Boom. Ta-da. There I go. Okay, great. Other light you can get, not, I don't recommend it, but it's kind of a cool light. And you might like it. If you can see in the dark, that's great. If you've got unbelievable night vision, this is called a Maestro, but it's a single LED. When you got full battery power, it's great. But if you don't have full battery power, okay, it's got, it's got a nice throw to it. If you're playing a really dark pit, might be the light for you. Maestro, single LED, not my favorite. My favorite in this genre is if you're going with the, the LEDs and you don't want to get the clip light because you think it's too big or the pack's too big or whatever, it's the Mighty Bright. But remember to get the Mighty Bright that has four LEDs. It's got two on each pod. You see? And it's called the Duet 2, but make sure you get the Duet 2 with four LED music light. All right? Duet 2, four, and this thing just simply clips on. Boom, spring, and you can adjust it in and out. Great clip light, mighty bright, two, four LED. Great light, highly recommend it. Again, this desk is really cool. I love the way this thing packs up. It's not for everybody. But the cool thing is, again, I set this down. I'm going to open this up, press it down, and then I pull. The legs drop in. It's got some really interesting technology. And then the shelf that I could put stuff in becomes the holder for the music stand. And boom, music stand totally travels. And it's a great stand. I think it's fantastic. Only problem with that is, if it's super windy, you got troubles. Okay, now we're going to get into some interesting stands on your heavier stand. Kind of folds up, neat traveler, not too bad. You're carrying this, you're carrying something on the back, and you got something here. And again, this is why we meet the stands. Very personal, in my opinion. Again, boom, leg folds out. This thing flips up, goes like this. Then you have another adjustment all the way up. This one does not quite get the altitude, but hey, if you're not quite as tall as me, and you don't mind looking down a little bit on your music, great stand, any, well, almost a great stand. There we go. There it is, sorry, my leg wasn't clipped. Make sure your leg's clipped. Great stand, this is a wanger. I don't know what model it is, but it's kind of an interesting stand. If you back off from it, Six foot tall, you can see, you know, it just may not go as high as you want it to go. Again, drops down real easy. Boom, turn that, and then this leg, you just step on it and that folds up. And it's all nice and compact and sits there like that. Carry it away. Not a bad compact stand. Now, another stand that not too bad, and these are for sale everywhere. Belmont, or Belmonte. I don't know if the E is silent or not. I didn't take French. All right, so, boom, two piece, folds up, not bad. You've seen these, I'm sure. These are a great stand, and they're not expensive. Only problem with this stand is this shelf is rather Short. So if you've got a fat book like something that's this size, it's going to be okay, but you get into the big boys, and especially if it's loose music and it's sitting on there like this, it could be problematic. So this shelf is a little thin for me. I like a little bit broader or wider shelf, but it still is a great stand. It will do probably 99% of what you need it to do. You don't have to completely disassemble it. You just tip that down, screw that in place, drop these legs down, and there you go. Boom, and you're off and running. And it's easy to disassemble and put back together. All right, another stand.
These are okay, uh -oh. except for they can get old and not work. <laughs> no. Just a little bit old, but not a bad stand again. There we go. All right. Don't blame the stand. Blame the operator. All right. Again, what do we got here? What is this? A Hamilton. Here's a Hamilton. All right. I think these are great. I think these are great except for one thing. They're always too flat. So what do I do? I put my foot down here on the bottom, hold it. Now I got it at a good angle. And it's there forever for me. All right. So there we go. Hamilton, again, no problem. You can put any stand light on it and you can put, boom, a big book on it. All right. So there we go. Hamilton. In the same vein is the Hercules. It's, again, a couple pieces, but they went a little fancy. Now, I, I don't think I've ever put one of these together because uh, I don't own a Hercules, but I think they're cool. Um, so, drop your legs down. And they got that really snazzy bag it comes in. See? Awesome little bag. Okay, so what's really great about this is you got spring release. You grab it, you squeeze it up and down. It's really cool. Then this thing's folded. So you push a little spring loaded pin. There they are again. Boom! Opens it up, throw two tabs down, and guess what? She's ready to go. Slide this on. There we go. Is that loose? Or is that tight? Which way is loose? There it is. Got it. Boom! Cha-ching! Ta-da! Turn. Very good. All right. There she is. Again, any light will clip onto that, I think. I don't have a, a, any doubt about that. And booyah! And the other thing is it's got built-in wind clip type thing so the pages won't turn. You got little clips there. Pretty cool. Hercules, great product. I think it's a good traveler. I think it's a solid stand. I think it's a great option for the gigging musician. It, and you don't have to pack it down. You don't have to fold it all up and put it in the bag. You can leave it like this. Now, if you don't mind carrying bulk and want premium music stands, get a wanger. Just get a wanger and carry it. It'll cost you a little bit, but it'll last you forever. And if you don't mind carrying it, or if you don't travel that much, boom, any stand light shelf to put your stuff on, holds any amount of music, great stand, any, any like I say, stand light will go on these. Now, one more stand, an old man has it. <laughs> now, these things are fantastic. They're great stands. They're gonna hold anything, stand light, no problem, and you tighten them up if they get loose, top and bottom, all good. The only problem with these is they tend to drop if you have a little bit too much weight on them. So if you have that problem, you know you got a lot of weight, just carry a little bit of tape, put some tape around here, and then take it off at the end of the gig. Most of the times your books won't be that heavy that it does that. But the brand new ones aren't gonna do that so much, but the old ones like these guys will. Another stand out there is this crazy thing. That's a Nilton, N-I-L-T-O-N. You slide the top in there, you can rotate it by pushing a button, and then you loosen these things up, and they slide, and then you just unloosen this, drop the legs down, but it's an all plastic stand, and that really concerns me, because trumpet players, we're kind of hard on our stuff, you know? And, uh, I don't know, How well it will stand the test of time. There's a lot of small parts on it. So the Nilton I think is great if you're always playing small books or carrying very <laughs> small music. It's really compact, really light, but I don't think it's a great choice. And finally, when it comes to music stands, I wouldn't skimp. I wouldn't skimp. I, 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 I got to tell you, it's great to buy a $4 music stand because this is what it cost me for this music stand. It was like $4, right? Which is great. Four bucks. Awesome, all right? But the problem is, there it is. There's my $4 music stand. Let's see what happens, kids.
Yeah, it might hold it. We might get away with it, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's a problem. I mean, uh, oh, uh, you see what I mean? Don't, wow, poor thing. You know what I mean? This is great for practicing just single pieces, but this little $4 music stand, it's not gonna make it on the gig. Don't take something like this on the gig. Get a sturdy, real music stand. Okay, kids, till next time, take it easy.